Hey guys, today we are talking all about setting powders. I'm gonna be sharing with you my top favorite setting powders. I feel like I rave about them and use them all the time, so it's gonna be no surprise, but I do wanna make a full video for it. It was definitely next on my list to go ahead and do so. If you guys are not subscribed yet to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do upload weekly. I think I only have one or two that is high end and the rest are drugstore. The first powder, which is seriously my holy grail, it is from the drugstore. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I am obsessed with this. I rave about this so much. I just think it literally works wonders. It gives you that beautiful airbrushed, soft, blurred effect under the eyes. This one is colored and I use mine in the shade Fair Light. Honestly, I probably could get away with using the shade Light, but I love the Fair Light one. To me, it reminds me of a translucent powder. If anything, it gives the tiniest amount of color, but it doesn't alter or change anything under my eyes. It doesn't make them appear darker. It literally just melts on top of the makeup, creating a really soft, blurred under eye. And when I tell you there's zero creasing, zero flashback, and you'll notice that with all these products I'm gonna share today, none of them I've ever experienced a flashback flashback and all of them create like a really nice smooth creaseless effect very poreless and keeps it oil free all day long but as far as the under eyes it just looks like a really nice porcelain smooth blurred effect that's the best way I can describe it and it is so finely milled and it just melts on top of the skin but still gives that coverage and mattified poreless look to the skin it is incredible I do like to use it directly under my eyes under the contour area on my forehead if you're gonna get one from the drugstore and you have not tried this yet please go try it super pretty it looks great in photos it looks so seamless I don't want to keep saying the word porcelain but like definitely like a really soft focus effect and it's gorgeous okay, so next powder is going to be no surprise it's the laura mercier translucent powder i have been obsessed with this powder for years on years i want to say like four or five years now really soft and gives that really nice blurred effect but i find this one to be more like oil controlling and more mattifying and doesn't disperse any color literally oil free all day long and i just love it there's zero creasing and i really love to use the laura mercier little powder puff this is so amazing i've been using this for years as well well. I just find when you roll and press the product on it looks so perfect using a powder puff literally takes your makeup to the next level I absolutely love it. You can use it to cut your contour. Of course you can use it on your forehead Love to use the roll and press motion Especially on any type of areas that I know will crease like my smile line or the little line on my forehead Which is becoming so stubborn for me So I do love to use a powder puff to kind of push it in there and it stays in place like it is gorgeous of course i'll use a beauty sponge or a beauty blender to do so but i find when i use a powder puff especially in those troubled areas or on top of any acne or anything like it doesn't move but i will always go back to this it is such a fine powder and just feels so smooth okay so next one is going to be from the drugstore as well It'll be the nyx can't stop won't stop setting powder this one is in the shade light so it definitely resembles those two that i just shared it has more of that beigey light tone to it and I think this one does come in a translucent but I prefer the light shade it does have a little sifter in there as well which is really easy to get to the product and I just like to tap it into the cap I do that with all of my setting powders but it is super super soft I feel like this one and the Maybelline one are super finely milled like almost to the point where it feels like silk the Laura Mercier one is definitely finely milled but it's a little bit like of a different feeling it's not as satiny which is fine it still looks phenomenal when setting the face but i feel like these two are just a little bit more like silkier i love it it looks super pretty on the under eyes and of course you can use all these powders like dusted on the entire face or like pressed on the entire face but i like to use these powders strictly with either a brush a sponge or the powder puff and i'll just kind of press it into the skin if you're going to be dusting on the entire face i would just like kind of get a little bit take the excess off and then just kind of sweep i find they work best when you're like pressing into the skin and then dusting away the product because you get the most payoff then i have a press form from nyx and this is the hd finishing powder i only use this on occasion but it's definitely a great powder it looks like so and it's in the shade banana so it's a little bit more on the yellowy side but you don't get like an overpowering amount of banana shade you know it's not like yellow it's just a little bit of a beige so I'll use a brush or I'll use like a tinier brush and just pop a little bit on there press on the areas that I need typically because this is a banana shade and it's a little bit more brightening I'll kind of just press under here and lightly dust for the under eyes and it just gives a really nice brightening effect really soft to the touch and it's super easy to use you get a lot of pigment it's definitely a pressed powder that is not hard to apply it's honestly like super soft so we love that i do like to use this kind of over top of setting powders so if i use the translucent powder i will go over top of this very very lightly on the like 
center portion of my face tap on a tiny bit and it just gives that extra like brightened effect so the next one is going to be from the drugstore as well this is the elf halo glow powder and this is specifically in the shade light pink it looks super beautiful under the eyes and it looks really brightened it's such a soft powder super silky like and it definitely does the job by giving that brightened effect keeping you oil free keeping you a little bit more on like the luminous side it almost looks like filtered like which is crazy i mean all these powders to me kind of do especially the maybelline this gives a beautiful softened brightened look under the eyes and this is where I typically like to put this one I don't really put this on the entire face I've honestly had this for like a year and a half and I have not gotten like halfway through so love it next up I have the Haley's Beauty retouch soft focus setting powder this is such a beautiful powder again has that really nice soft look especially for the under eyes you can use this all over the face or even underneath the contour on the forehead but all over it just looks super stunning and super soft and kind of like a filtered effect it just melts right into the skin looks really seamless and blends into your makeup so so pretty my favorite sponge right now is the elf camo concealer sponge I raved about it in my previous video and just honestly in a lot of my videos but I just absolutely love this especially for concealer but for setting the under eyes as well with my loose powders it is an amazing amazing sponge so I'll kind of just like flip it over and use the other side it like makes the powders just kind of mesh in to your skin and just like melt in but still look like matte you know it's super super pretty this powder you do not need a lot of at all like a little bit definitely goes a long way and just like super blurring especially for the under eyes there's no creasing and just looks like beautiful i absolutely love it and then my last setting powder that i'm going to mention today is the la girl setting powder this is their pro powder hd setting powder i love this powder it is beautiful in photos again i feel like i keep mentioning that and so this one does have two shades i believe it's the regular translucent setting powder which is more of that white shade and then this one is the banana shade which i definitely reached for the banana shade way more just a lot better in my opinion like it just reminds me of all of my other ones that are more of the beigey tone. I love it. It's not like a super banana shade. Like it's not yellow. It's super soft and gives you that really nice blurred seamless effect. I'll have them all listed for you down below in the description. So definitely check there. I think that is all for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one. Bye.